Welcome everyone to another episode on the MGN channel. I am your host, Cornish. They've done it again. They really did it again. You know what, right? I am so impressed with this game. <laughs> it's been a while since I was really impressed with a horror game, I can tell you that. But let's look no further than a wonderful game called Amnesia Rebirth. Amnesia Rebirth is the third installment of the Amnesia series made by fictional games. In their wonderful previous games, they have brought us some amazing games like the Penumbria series, Soma, and the most popular game of fictional games, Amnesia The Dark Descent. Side note, they did publish the second installment of the game Amnesia's, which was called Amnesia Machine of Pigs, but was developed by the Chinese room. But let's not talk about that! No, 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 no. With each of these games has some amazing sound effects, not to mention the ambiance of how scary it was. In this review, I want to make one thing clear and one thing clear only. This is going to be spoiler free. I am not going to spoil anything, so buckle up, boys. This is going to be fun. So the only thing I can say is the first bit of the story where you wake up in a pl after a plane crash. The last thing you can remember is your husband, and you're only armed with just a bracelet and some matches. And you go out on that desert and have a good old time. Unfortunately, it is not a good time. So the first few hours, it does drag, but that's the best thing about these games, especially the Amnesia. They build up to something big. Now, after I've just telling you the story, that is all I'm going to say about the main story. Now, with the gameplay we're going to talk about, um, the, the visuals is amazing. Um, just like the old Amnesia, uh, it's pretty much the same mechanic style, just a little bit more of a boost, you know, uh, instead of just using matches and the old one to just flick them on, you can actually hold the match for a bit. The physics is still amazing, There's not, it's not really been touched as much, but it's really, really good still. Uh, there are a lot of puzzle solving, including physics puzzles as well as just quest finding puzzles. We need to figure out some way of getting ourselves up. Oh, there's one. How convenient. There we are. Perfect. Puzz physics puzzles. I like it. And of course, the whole darkness thing, you know, try not to stay in the dark too long type of thing. Just like the original Amnesia. So the locations are pretty cool. You've got locations from like the desert, to the caves, to the ruins, to temples, to another world. And of course, the fort. So when I said earlier in this video, uh, the game has a lot of build up. And it does have a lot of build up. So just get through, I would say get through about an hour of it. But when the build up happens... Oh boy. Oh dear lord. Oh. I know we're getting. Oh, Tufty! Oh, no! 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 For my gameplay experience, I tell you one thing, I have not, I think I've broke the new record for notes in a single clip on my Twitch channel. Don't forget to go and follow Cornish Games Night to see more awesome content. I promise I'll never do that again. That was stupid. But yeah, the, the, the scares are pretty good on it. It builds up, it's not in your face. So another feature is the darkness thing. Uh, if you stay down in the dark, just like the old one, you start losing it a bit. And this one is very different because if you stay there too long, you do get a nasty case of jump scares. Ah! 
Now, comparing to from the old one, uh, as the old one, you had like a lot of chases. On this one, it's still the same. And oh, that noise! Oh, that noise! You cannot forget that noise. Uh, and having something new chasing after you is pretty good as well. Uh, I was expecting a little. <laughs> I was expecting shorter, like a, a smaller. But no, no, no. And again, with this build-up, it's just amazing how they managed to pull that off. To have something that you're fearing from, and when you actually see it, it's like, you've got to run. <laughs> Literally a panic meter right there. But the puzzle solving is absolutely amazing. I, I love it. With this puzzle game, it's absolutely incredible. It had to make me think of what I have to do next. Uh, they do have some fetch puzzles as well, so you do have to go back to certain areas to grab it and come back and make it. Or, you know, use something to unlock it. Which is good. Which is good. Um, apart from uh, when something chases you out of that area and you have to go back in that area, that is a no-go for me. That's a no-go at all. But yeah, it, honestly, it's an it's a it's an entirely new game of its own. Um, I haven't played. I have played a lot of horror this year, and is there nothing has compared to how amazing this new Amnesia game is. Oh my God! <laughs> If I was to say something bad about the game, it's very hard. It really is very hard. I, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't think of, this is the first time in my chat like stream or channel I've ever come across a game that I've had problems with. I think if you're really, if I'm really going to have to try and make a bad thing about it. No, 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 no. Whoops. What happened? Did I flip? Did I break the get? Dude, I think I broke the game. Well, I thought I broke the game. I, I I've broken the game. <laughs> yes, I did it. I did it. I broke amnesia! Hooray! Oh, damn it. I think just... No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, there's, there's no major bugs. I guess jumping through a portal is really not needed, but I know it's meant to be for the storyline. I don't like going for those portals. I think Lantern might be it. I think Lantern, uh, I think the, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I, I think Lantern should have more time because it runs out quick, but then that's always been like that in the Amnesia series. But to anyone who is watching this video, if you are thinking about getting this game, and I can promise you this, if you've got it some time, you would very much enjoy it. There are actual moments where I think to myself, I don't think I can do this, you know, I don't, how am I going to pull this off? And I actually pull it off. And there are other times where I think I'm literally screwed and I managed to get away. That's, that's, well, that's good. But yeah, to anyone who is thinking about this game, I can promise you as an experienced horror crazy person, this game is one of those games that you should have in your Steam collection, Xbox or PlayStation, whatever it's come out with. I played mine on PC and I enjoyed the heck out of it. You guys will definitely enjoy it. I've given you the gameplay mechanics, the physics puzzles, and also the other puzzles. I've given you some little information of the scares and the panics and the, all the craziness that happens on that game. And I need to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit that goal over 100. This is a very new channel. And I, the last video, you guys have been absolutely incredible. I would love to hear your feedback on this game in the comments down below. Remember, hit the subscribe. 
hit the like, and I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful day.